cut them through. Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the past. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I send my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, Fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter songs. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands, as do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, 
The seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Get practice. Stay safe, Outlander. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. I need to find a way up there.
think I'm getting anywhere through here. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to climb in this cave. Uh, if there's tunnels up here, there might be some underwater. Maybe they can lead me someplace with a path through these caves. Take a seat pouch to Q. It seems to mean a lot to Mataro. caves.
find those wide moths. There they are. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. Back to Q with these. Got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be.
Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. First bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my ears fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhem. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll? Please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. 
I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. After you exposed his ally Kel, however, I think he will find the power of his voice will be lessened. And maybe yours will be louder? We shall see. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fame, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them then survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. Aloy. Welcome to the garden. How are you doing, Bree? Is this where you planted your wife's seeds? It is. They're a part of Plainsong now. Where they can take root and flower. I miss her. But I'll keep pushing for change, just like she would have. I still can't believe something so... She didn't deserve any of this. But at least I have this to remember her by. I'm sorry for your loss. Even if one day we leave Plainsong, I'll know the seeds she carried will have been part of our people's cycle. And it's all thanks to you, Aloy. May you always walk in a field of plenty. There's the survivor from the hunting party. That's her. I heard she fights with the bronze and the armor. I have armor and garments for sale. Then? I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll. I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey. Easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me. Slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau. He distracted it. Yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees. And it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to playing song before I realized what I had done. Left loud to die. 
Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker, and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. May the land bloom in your steps. Dress for protection, dress to impress. Is this easy? Too much. There's a dead entirely in the clearing. Must be one of the hunters. Gotta take out these machines before I can grab the seat pouch.
still in this fight. enough. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. I should look for tracks. I think this green channel will fetch a price. There. Lost rider tracks. We might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Strider's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their seat pouch. Died where the claw strider caught him. At least I can return his seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan the tracks. Okay. 
Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Cost Rider probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. It's sticky. A tree sap. I don't think it was from the Cost Rider. Maybe from the weapon? Looks like the cross strider continued up the cliff. Okay. Well, I gave it quite the chase. More residue. It looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. Oh, the hunter kept running. <laughs> Close trace tracks end here. And no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know why these machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. That machine could swoop down on me if I'm not careful. in the cliff. I should check it out. Got a feeling Lao was pretty resourceful. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. I can slow it down for you. It's claws. It must be spitting out hunter killers, too. It's not going to hurt it much.
I've got your back. Stranger. Done. We did it! <laughs> it's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the Claustrayer to chase you. Huh. <laughs> And he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. And here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. There's Shale. I should give her the seed pouch. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there. But the Claw Strider is dead. Here. The seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. <laughs> 